I was wondering if you could give me a hand regarding Vanguard's funds. I've noticed many of the most common funds can be closed at times, and there's no good equivalent fund. Do you have any suggestions for how to manage this problem? Thanks for your help. He's basically asking, what do you do about Vanguard closed funds? If you go to Vanguard, you go through their list of mutual funds, you will see that some of them are closed. This is, for the most part, funds that have been around for a long time and have done pretty well. They've got pretty good records. And so what has happened there is the mutual fund managers have gone, this fund's just getting too big. We cannot deploy these funds into our best ideas any quicker than we already are, so we're not taking new money. So as I looked the other day, the funds that this applies to at Vanguard include their dividend growth fund, their prime cap fund, the prime cap core fund, and the capital opportunity fund. I don't actually invest in any of those closed funds. They're basically all actively managed funds or sector funds sometimes get closed temporarily. Um, And so I don't invest in those. So, you know, it's not really an issue. I just buy the index funds and they don't seem to have a problem. They don't seem to ever close. So that's option number one that you have. You can just use index funds. Option number two is you can watch for future openings. After the fund starts performing badly, people start pulling their money out and all of a sudden you can put more money in there. Or after a market drop, a lot of times they will take new money as well. So if you have a bear market, you might check again and see if those funds are open if you really want to invest in them. You might also find an exception in a 401k. Sometimes a different type of account still has access to that fund. Maybe it's a 529, maybe it's your 401k at work, maybe it's an individual 401k. Uh, You know, if you already have some funds in there, you can probably reinvest your dividends or maybe you can still invest more money. It just depends on the rules of the closure. But if you really want to get into a fund, it might be worth looking into that. And then lastly, you could use an alternative actively managed fund from other companies that use a similar strategy. If you really like that strategy and that's how you want that portion of your money to be managed, well, chances are good somebody at Fidelity or somewhere else is doing something similar. So you can do that. But remember, there are no called strikes in investments. Uh, You know, there are no magic investments. There are no must-have investments. Avoid the fear of missing out. That causes you to do dumb things with your money. And so just because a fund is closed and had good past performance doesn't mean you have to get in there to be financially successful. Far more your financial success is about getting a high income, saving a big chunk of it, and investing it in some reasonable way rather than picking the exact perfect mutual fund that's going to eke out another 0.3% per year in return. If you want your questions answered by the White Coat Investor, record your question at whitecoatinvestor.com slash YQA, or click the link in the description. My dad, your host, Dr. Dahl, is a practicing emergency physician, blogger, author, and podcaster. He is not a licensed accountant, attorney, or financial advisor, so this podcast is for your entertainment and information only, and should not be considered official, personalized financial advice.